to Mastering the Draft Dominator. My name's Simon, um, and I'm going to be talking now about cheat sheets from the Draft Dominator. Now, I have to say, as I always do when I'm talking about cheat sheets, this isn't our recommended way of drafting, but I know there are some people out there, and I'm sure Bill Belichick would be one of them if he had a fantasy football team, who would just refuse to use a computer in the heat of the moment, and we understand that. And we want to make sure that you guys have cheat sheets. If that's the case, that's how you like to draft. Um, and also this serves as a great backup tool. So you can generate cheat sheets and, and then you can take your computer. If you don't have full confidence yet in our drafting software, take your computer or your iPad or your iPhone or your Android device into your draft. All will go well, but you've got your draft sheet, your cheat sheet there, just in case to give you that peace of mind. Um, and the second thing we're going to do quickly is show how you can get a CSV export for spreadsheets out of this application. If it's your kind of thing to mess around with data and do your own stuff with data from there. So we've got the desktop version of the Draft Dominator up. Um, and we've got settings and print cheat sheet. OK, so that's where it's always going to be for all leagues. Um, I'll just show you where it is on the equivalent. So I'm going to go to the draft settings tab and then uh, down here you've got draft actions and then the first one in the first row there, export cheat sheet. So you'd hit there and then you get the, uh, the options there. So let's do it from desktop from this window. So we've got print cheat sheet and there are two choices here. So if what you're looking for is just that static printed cheat sheet, remember the best cheat sheet you'll get is the one in the app that changes and adapts to your draft as the draft goes on. And, and if you want some more information, see our number four and number five videos on exactly how that works. But if you're looking for that static printable cheat sheet, this is the option you want, print friendly cheat sheet. We've put a ton of time and effort into these things to try and get them as clean and as readable and usable in the heat of your drafts as possible. So. You hit generate cheat sheet like that. And what, what that's doing in the background is it's putting together the cheat sheet, getting all the data, making sure it's using the latest projections, etc. Um, and then we can open the cheat sheet. Okay, and here we go. So um, you notice you've got kind of like a preview here that you can scroll through to take a kind of look at what you're going to get. But also down the left hand side, you've got some printing instructions which are going to be specific to your browser. Um, I always recommend if you're trying to do things that push browsers to their limits and printing is definitely one of those things to use Google Chrome um, because it's the most commonly used browser and it's the browser that we use while we're um, developing these applications. But we have printing instructions for Safari, Microsoft Edge, Firefox, all the most commonly used browsers. Um, so I'm going to follow those now. Hopefully we're going to see a print sheet. Um, uh, sorry, a cheat sheet come out on the uh, printer behind me there. So what could go wrong? So again, I'm just following the uh, instructions that were given here to make sure that we've unchecked headers and footers and we do have background graphics enabled as well because that's going to give you the different color headers for each of the positions there, which again can help if you associate quarterbacks with red, etc. Let's go ahead and print that, see what happens. Something's happening. OK, so there we have it. We've got a nice cheat sheet printed out there. We've got overall rankings. We've got positional rankings. It's nicely done over two pages and we can check things off as we go. And for those of you who like uh, messing around with data and spreadsheets, the option you're going to want is the CSV file um, for Excel or for any spreadsheet application. And again, hit generate cheat sheet and that's going to give you a cheat sheet to download. Here's one I downloaded and um, opened earlier in um, in Apple's attempt to create something that looks kind of like Excel. Um, so just going through the columns quickly, you've got um, a position and a position ranking. You've got the name of the player, obviously the team they play for, their bye week, total points projection for the season, upside for the season, ADP value for the league, a value-based drafting metric, games played projections, points per games, um, age, the round in the NFL draft that they were originally drafted. So you can see teams have certainly got better at um, assessing players over the years. There's only 
Antonio Brown and Adam Thielen at the start of fantasy drafts outside of the top three rounds there. And we've also got points breakdowns for every single week of the NFL season. So that's an insane amount of information there. If you want to go crazy and try and do some more calculation on, on all of this data, it's all there and ready for you. Just uh, do whatever you want with it and have fun. Mm-hmm.